Good. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Bad at night. Looking at the camera. Good, good, good. Preloaders, VI preloaders, guys, welcome back to the channel. Always a pleasure to have you guys here with me and you know this by now, or at least you should. All right, guys, so I am at a Ford dealership in Sefna, Florida. I'm here for practice session number 67 and 68. All right, that's um, gonna be taking place at this dealership. And again, I wanna, we're gonna talk to Mike in a second. I met Mike in uh, Daytona and I was saying, yeah, I would like to get out to Florida to do a practice session, I just need a location. And he was like, really, that's all you need? I got, you know, like 30 acres. So they cleared part of the lot out for us to do a practice session here. Um, this is the uh, dealership behind me. This is Gator Ford. And guys, I got to tell you something. The reason I, I said I need to do a video just on this is, this dealership impressed me so much, so much. And we're going to talk to uh, Mike and have him show us around. And you guys are going to see what I'm talking about. Whether you're in the market for a, uh, a car or a truck or an SUV, or if you just love motorcycles, which most of us do, you're going to understand why uh, this dealership, to me, in my opinion, is so special. And the size of it is part of it. Like, even down to this. All right, guys. All right. This is, this is just me being me. But the fact that there's a way to drive in, if you wanted to come buy a car and you didn't want to be in the rain, it's raining outside, you can drive up right here. And whoever's driving can let you out. And you can walk in and stay dry because you're under the overhang. Little things like that. I mean, <laughs> little things like that matter to me. All right, let's go inside, guys. All right, guys, right, right here, welcome to Gator Ford. There's the sales department, hours of operation. All right, you can see it, I don't have to read it. As soon as I walked in, I was greeted by this young lady and she was very gracious and sweet. So I appreciate you, what's your name? My name's Arlene Milan. Arlene, how long have you been working here? I've been working here for about four and a half years when Chris and Mike came over. Four and a half years, great, mm -hmm. great. Pleasure to meet you. All right, you too. Look at that, guys. And this is the dealership. You know, and you, at first glance, it looks just like any other dealership, right? Well, maybe except for that. That's pretty cool. Got that car up on the lift in the showroom. All right, so everything just looks, you know, looks kind of basic, right? Second floor, administrative stuff probably going on up there. The floor is not that large, but stand by, guys. All right, what's your name, brother? Hey, my name's Michael Accord. Mike, and again, I've said it before, and I'm going to say it again. Huge thank you for just allowing us to have a practice session here at this. This is just a beautiful facility, and that's why we're going to um, talk about it and walk around. You're going to give me a tour, oh, right? Definitely. Okay, definitely. good. All right, I'm all yours. Well, if you look right above your head, it's this lift on the inside. It gives customers the ability to see what the under of a vehicle looks. Everybody goes to buy a truck, and they see the outside. They see the inside, but they don't see under it. So we installed this custom lift especially for the customers to see. That's awesome. I saw the truck up there, but I didn't even think about walking under it and yeah. looking under it. My sales guys and my techs can look at the trucks and explain to them the different safety features that are under, from skid mm -hmm. plates to braking systems, exhaust. Let a customer know exactly what they're purchasing. Wow, that's, that's pretty impressive. Gator Ford's been around in the market for 25 plus years. Mm -hmm. uh, Morgan Auto Group, which is one of the fastest growing dealerships in, in the country, is the primary owner of the dealership. If you look around, you'll see that we are a Ford dealership. We primarily sell heavy duty, medium duty trucks along with commercials. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you do here? I'm the general sales manager for the dealership. Okay. My job is to make sure that a purchase experience is a great experience. Mm -hmm. Make sure that everything goes well and says it's supposed to be mm -hmm. and literally make sure when they buy something, they leave here happy and come back for another opportunity down the road. Beautiful. We're very motorcycle oriented here. I, I whoa, whoa, what did you say? Very motorcycle, a lot of guys ride uh -huh. here. Um, actually guys are 
transforming from not riding to riding. Okay. Because of the other guys ride. I hope we're going to see them tomorrow. Yeah, no, they'll all be here tomorrow. We have a lot of guys that uh, literally ride to work every day, take lunch breaks and stuff like that. Beautiful, beautiful. That's what I like to hear. This is a toolbox you just purchased for, for being able to work on their stuff. No, oh, wow. Now, whose bikes are these? These are my managing partner's dealership here. Uh, his name is Chris. Um, it's a 19 Rogue Glide Special and a 22 Rogue Glide Special. No, um, no, no. That's a CVO. Well, CVO. How dare you call it a special? I know. <laughs> I know. Look it, at this thing, it's guys. It's special when he rides it. Oh, it's yeah. really just sits around for him. Look at this. The carbon fiber front fender, Brembo brake. Just had Trask put on the new turbo for it. Definitely a, uh, a fast, fast bike. Look at this thing, guys. And he's going to be participating in the practice session. He'll be here tomorrow also to ride. But he won't be on this thing. No, no. He'll either be on the, the CVO or maybe one of the street glides. Look at this thing, guys. Like, there's just custom stuff everywhere. I can only imagine. What kind of exhaust is he running? Oh, it's right here. Yeah. <laughs> it's Diego the Trask Christmas. exhaust. He's got the MJK uh, swing arm. Wow. And... This is what he's going to be riding tomorrow. It's a uh, most glide likely, CVO. yeah, I'll be riding yeah. the CVO or maybe one of the street glides. We have a couple extra bikes around the shop for guys that Beautiful. need to have something to ride. They don't have their own bike. Beautiful. I love this color and I and also chrome works. He, he has chrome works yeah, that he, matches. He just swapped the chrome works yeah. out for the. Uh, I think they call it scorched chrome. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, it's it was a three month wait for those. Wow. And that was one of the uh, concerns I had with this color. I said it's beautiful, but if you want to change it, yeah, you, you it's nothing out there. You know, people were putting um, black on. This is. Nice, very nice. I know he's looking at the Scepter risers now because he wants to go to the T-Bar setup. Um, Scepter has the closest matched Trask. Look at this, guys. This is, and just like I told him, I spoke, tell me his name again. His name's Chris. Chris. I said, Chris, do you have saddlebag guards? And he was like, I think so. And I was like, because I know CVO road glides and street glides don't come with them. And when I, I see that he doesn't, so I told him, I'm going to have to remove those tomorrow at practice. And he started getting nervous. Yeah. <laughs> I said, nothing to get nervous about. Look at this, man. This is just this is very nice. So he likes road glides. Yeah, road glides. He started out with the street glide and changed over. Yeah. But the dealership, it's like we, we, we've uh, been here for about five years now. Mm -hmm. um, they had purchased the dealership. We have uh, some things available for customers and sales guys alike and technicians. Hold on. Look at this, guys. Now, I don't know if you guys play golf, but... I don't play golf, but I like the fact that I can pull this back and his hands come back. And as, as much, look at that, look at that. As I move my hand. Oh man, I would be here all day doing that. I don't even play golf. <laughs> <laughs> pull table, ping pong, between customers and techs. They cut this. Oh, I'm going in up. there, Mike. Oh, go on in. Going in there. Guys, if you guys don't know, I love ping pong. I got a ping pong table at my house. It doesn't stay up, but I can put it up. And this is not some like, you know, bull crap ping pong table. I would, I would come here and get service on my car just so I could play ping pong. Look at this and hold up. And three star balls. Yes. If you guys don't play ping pong, yes. you don't understand what I'm talking about, but that's what I'm talking about. And I thought this was their break room, but this is the room for customers, you know? Yeah, for customers that are having service, they, want to, they don't want to sit down in the service department, they get to come up here. And we've got a couple of Xboxes set up in the back of the shop, a couple of video games. You know, Beautiful. It's nothing like sitting in a dealership waiting for a car to get done with that. Hold up, the Xbox is it for customers? Yeah, we can use them. Oh, a couple my God. video games. This is beautiful. It really is. This is it's so impressive. I, should, I don't know why I should be so impressed, but I am. <laughs> because it's something I can appreciate. One of the nice things is the culture. You're going to keep the culture right. Everybody has a good time. Yep, yep, yep. These are some of the techs area. That's where the techs park their bikes. There's a few everywhere else around here. Really? Okay, good. So we got a Road King here, guys. We got a Victory. We got another Road Glide, and I understand that he's gonna be participating in tomorrow's practice session. Then we got a Street Glide, and we got another Street Glide. And then this bike, they said there was a, this was a, a trade-in, I believe. So they just ride this around every now and then. And I told them, this is a perfect motorcycle to tool around and practice on, too. A little Heritage, Heritage soft tail, very nice. Yeah, a gentleman just traded in a couple of days ago. He traded in for a car? Yeah, he bought a, uh, okay. I think it was a Raptor. Uh, and then he literally went down to the Harley store down the shop mm -hmm. and uh, purchased another bike. He came to the right dealership. Yeah, definitely. So 
you guys can already see that why there's a connection between motorcycles um, and this dealership, right? Because it's right from the top. Those two pretty ass road glides. After you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. This is the service area. Okay. All the advisors. How you doing, guys? Greet the customers as they come in. Any of you guys have a problem being on YouTube? No. I hope not, because you're going to be on it. <laughs> Where's Angelo at? Things all around somewhere? Okay. All right, service department. And everything is bright, it's airy, it smells good. Even the bathroom, I'm not going to record it. <laughs> but, I mean, I walked in the bathroom and uh, I just liked what I saw. It's just, guys, you know, listen, if you know anything about me, I'm a stickler. People tell me that I'm, you know, I'm a little uh, whatever, but I like things a certain way. I like to be comfortable. I like modernness. I like cleanliness. And that's all I get from this dealership already. Just everything. Look at this stuff for the kids. A huge ass television up here. Samsung. Like they don't cut any corners here. I'm telling you. It's very nice. No, definitely everything is. Top one for everybody. How Make much sure for the snacks? Uh, we, we, there's a uh, range from, I think, 47 cents out to $3 for nice. lunches and stuff like that. Nice. So they're not hitting you over the head? No, 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 definitely not. This is very nice. Very nice. Like Christopher, I can tell how are you? Not, I can tell it's not really old. It's like five years. It shows. Yeah, the building's been here for almost 20. Ah. Well, they need to know already. Do you mm -hmm. like Duff right now? Yes, I am. It's my guess. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. This is one of the three shops we have here. We have about 60 bays. We handle anything from off brand vehicles, Mustangs, Focuses. Honda's 62 bays across the board. And I also see a motorcycle parked over there. Yeah, there you'll see them all throughout the place. Everybody rides. It's a group effort. Love it, love it. And, and um, you know, this is why one of the reasons I also appreciate being here because this man is in a position to, ha to provide us with the location uh, to do this. But he also recognizes that he works with people that ride. So if you have somebody that's going to come help you out and be safe, yeah, we have a, uh, that's one of the big things for a lot of my guys, the safety side of it. Yeah. I mean, alone, we have, we're over 390 days right now, not one accident or incident at the dealership. I saw that. We have the highest the record, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. So it's important that we literally focus on not only the culture for the employees and the customers, mm -hmm. but the safety aspect of it. Absolutely. Guys are awarded every year mm -hmm. for having safety records. So... This just ties into the, you know, a safety course for the guys that drive and ride. Absolutely. Now, the um, Chris is the owner, correct? The, the company's owned by Morgan Automotive Group. Okay. Um, they're one of the largest dealerships in Florida. Mm -hmm. uh, Chris is the managing partner for the dealership. Okay. Now, what made Chris, if you know the answer to this, what made him decide to put his motorcycles in the showroom and put a velvet rope Honestly, in front of them? Honestly, he loves them. He, yeah. They're his babies. Uh-huh. Um, but he could have kept him at home. He does, but when he look, when the guys ride. Yeah. We'll go to lunch. We'll take the guys to lunch. We'll ride ah, lunch in the afternoon. Yes, yes, yes. There's a lot of restaurants around here. A lot of, I mean, it's Florida. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. Middle of January, we're taking a ride That's to right. go to lunch. So. That's right. That's right. That's beautiful. And he could just crank one of two beautiful motorcycles yes. up. And oh man, it's beautiful. Now guys, I want to show you this over here. He's about to show me this. This is when I said, let me go get my camera. Because <laughs> <laughs> this is just awesome. This is another bay, right? It's a little dirty. Yeah, this is Lou Bay's. Oh, these are new. Yeah, then we have we have a couple shops down below us. Yeah, yeah. It's 38 acres. And then we put this in because a lot of guys, a lot of my techs work a lot of hours. They mm -hmm. do. They turn a lot of wrenches. Yeah. They don't have time to go to a shop. Yeah. But most of them work on their own stuff. So we added a motorcycle lift and bay for these guys. Wow. So when they have the opportunity, they want to work on their own stuff, they have the ability to do that. We're getting Look at ready this, to guys. expand it to another one, so we have two lifts in here. Uh, this office and the other one in the back. Two lifts. I mean, just wow. 
as long as their work's done and they're done and not on the clock, they get to come in and take care of their own things without having to schedule something somewhere else. Just, I mean. <laughs> yeah, he's currently putting on, I think he's doing new floorboards. They oh, just yeah? did the uh, manifold and intake the other day on one. Mm -hmm. so, they didn't hit doing real work on their bikes. Yeah. I mean, they just did an engine swap on a uh, 12 Heritage. Uh, they just did new headers on a, a Triumph. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. You know, he's trying to, I don't think he wants to keep it. I think he wants to trade it in. He's just adding stuff to it. I mean, it's awesome to be mechanically uh, inclined. Um, but what's even more awesome, can you imagine that you have a job, you work a lot of hours, and you don't, it saves them money too, you know, to be able to, at work, in yeah, and the guys hours. that aren't mechanically inclined, yeah. they help each other out. So it's definitely uh, I mean, that's awesome. And be able to be in an air-conditioned environment, working on your bike, and it's just, and you're putting another one in here. Yeah, we're going to add another one. Wow. That's just outstanding, man. It really is outstanding. All right, guys, I'm not going to show you um, the lot in this video that we're going to be doing the practice session. You want to see that? You can watch the practice session video. But um, I will add that another plus, there's so many pluses. My hotel's literally, I can walk to it from here, right? So if I wanted to, I can leave my truck and my trailer here. Secondly, I'm gonna go out there and set up. There's no lines or anything, so I have to measure everything out. Uh, but I can leave the cones there. This is all a secure location. And guys, that is huge for me. Especially as hot as it's gonna be, that's huge. So when we're done tomorrow, I don't have to worry about everybody picking up cones and then putting them back down Sunday morning. I can leave them there until I'm done. They have an ice maker here so I can fill up the cooler. I already brought water, but I mean, just these are the little things that are just, it's all, it's, this is a lot of work for me, but it makes it easier for me to do things. So I appreciate it, Mike. I, I really do. Oh, no, I'm glad you're here. It's going to be an exciting weekend. Really Absolutely. excited about it. Absolutely. Okay, so go ahead. What is this? This is a, it was a commercial apartment. We expanded, but as you can see, more motorcycles. Another motorcycle. Okay. Yeah, everybody has a passion around here for bikes. Beautiful. I love so, it. Well, I, we have a lunchroom upstairs, but a lot of the guys kind of skimp out on their lunchtime mm -hmm. because they're afraid they're going to miss something. <laughs> what so, do you mean? You know, miss a customer, miss an opportunity to uh, make sales. Yeah. 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 So we're going we're gonna to put this in the uh, almost like a uh, lunchroom break area type of thing. Really? Put some couches, some tables. They can eat in here. They're close to their own offices, their desks. So. All right, guys. Um, now, I'm not in Makes sales. Makes it easier for them. Yeah, I'm not in sales, but I recognize, not very difficult, but I recognize good management, good leadership. Um, you take care of your workers, they're going to take care of you. It's that simple. Um, I recognize that in my profession, and it's true in any profession, really, in the fact that they're going to actually make some physical changes so that these guys won't forego their lunch breaks and they can still be close to their desks because it's important to be able to take a break or work and no play makes jack a dull boy definitely you don't know what i'm talking about watch the shining <laughs> <laughs> this is just i mean just, i'm impressed by a lot of things in here and a lot of it starts from the top heavy is the head that wears the crown here comes richard he's the one that practices on the uh, heritage out there ah okay because after 40 years of marriage his wife still won't let him buy a motorcycle yeah i heard he can't write so but can he can he participate? but if she does see this video she needs to be aware that he rides around the lot all day long so he does okay is he well are you riding around the lot or walking the bike around the lot oh no he's riding oh, okay <laughs> good that's what i like to hear that's what i like to hear These are manager's offices, open okay. view to the floor if a customer needs us. Beautiful. They're available to talk to every customer. Where's your office? Uh, right here. This right is here. my spot right here. Maybe you can't pick your nose or nothing. It's just no, no. Open. <laughs> we need to see what's going on, you know? Yeah, absolutely. So This is very nice, very nice. Well, listen, Mike, I appreciate you, uh, first and foremost, having, having me here. Oh, I'm, I'm glad to have you. And secondly, for just giving me a tour of this beautiful facility and and meeting some great people. And I'm, I'm going to be here for the whole weekend, so I'm sure I'm going to meet more people. Yeah, and like I said, I'd like, if it goes well for you guys, I'd like to have it, you know, every quarter. Oh, yeah. Some of you guys every quarter. There's plenty of people in Tampa that I know for a fact are interested. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's the first time we've seen you down here. So, I mean, 
You got to keep you coming back in Listen, here all the time. As I mean, the location is already taken care of. As long as I got people, yeah. I'm here, brother. Thank you, man. Well, thank you very much. All right. All right, guys. So that's it. That's the dealership. Um, I'm actually going to be able to detach my trailer from the truck just in case I want to, you know, like roll around and do anything. But even the way I'm going to eat, everything's in walking distance to where I am and where I need to be. So this is just perfect, perfect. I'm very, very happy about this. I can't wait until tomorrow. It's going to be hot. It balls out here. And I don't even care, man. It's just going to be, it's going to be good. But I'm going to be able to detach my trailer, leave it here. They're going to lock it up in one of the bays. And um, that's it. All right, guys, listen, um, I did this video separately because I didn't want it to get lost in the practice session video, which I already know is going to be a long video. Um, and I didn't want you guys to miss this video. I wanted you to watch this so that you understand what's going on here. I want you to check out Gator Ford. Just good people here, guys. The facility is great. Um, the management, uh, their approach to taking care of their workers is fine. And the connection to motorcycles. How many car dealerships are you going to see this kind of stuff going on, right? Gator Ford. Um, this is, I think this is 11740 Gateway Boulevard or something like that here in Sefna, Florida. Um, come on by, guys. Come on by. All right, guys. Spend more time being thankful for the things that you have and less time complaining about the things that you don't. I'm going to go get checked in and get, grab a bite to eat. Hope to see you guys at the practice session here in Florida, Saturday and Sunday. Seat time doesn't equal practice time, guys. And if you have time to ride your motorcycles, please make time to practice on them. Until next time.